Welcome to the semi-final stage of the Pez Universe Community Cup Season 1 of this competition. Huge thanks to everyone who's taken part so far. We are at the semi-final stage with Weza FC playing as Fiorentina, going up against number one Pirate playing as Leicester. Now, this was a fairly interesting game. There's lots of goals in it, and obviously there's, uh, there's lots of talking points in it. But just to give the basic highlights and the rundown of that... Um, it's always interesting to look at two top players go at each other because they know each other's game so well Obviously playing on the one bar pass assist in this competition and playing with the four star or under teams was always going to be difficult um, To get used to because you probably haven't played with a lot of these teams in everyday match day or my club or whatever But it was an interesting game and it's always good to, to kind of analyze these games and see how these guys play There is a, an overabundance in PES 2020 on central play and you'll see the way Weza has slotted his team up this uh, this game. It's pretty much a 4-3-3, but he's got an attack in midfield. Now, this is the goal of the game. An absolute beautiful peach of a finish from Boateng. And uh, Pirate, being the great player that he is, is going to rectify that straight away. Because that is where the attack in midfielder is absolutely lethal in PES 2020 this year. So, Pirate goes in and just puts his DMF back on Boateng um, and that was that was going to have a big impact on this game uh, it didn't it didn't make a massive difference in the first 20 minutes but you'll see as the game goes on defensively Pirate just looks so composed and looks so compact and obviously Leicester are, are a fine team as well now a little bit of a defensive mishap here Tealsman does slot at home from Gray on the wing but you'll just see in the replay here these things do happen in Pez I mean some things that happen that are out of your control Weza gets unlucky here it's put into a good area by Pirate taking nothing away from that little finish but you can just see that his defender I think it's Pizalog that comes across Weza tries to defend it perfectly and he just steps back it's a it's it's a breakdown of defensive AI it can happen with the response issues sometime but that wasn't going to define the game by no means so Weza tried to get back into this he needed to get another goal especially going in before half time and again you can see Weza tries to tries to make lightning strike twice with another finesse finish but Pirate being the great player that he is he's going to see that coming he's going to know that Weza is going to be trying to finesse that there using his AMF as pretty much the main orchestrator in this this uh, this squad setup this team setup um, because if you're not using an AMF to kind of link everything together it's kind of a wasted position especially if you're playing wingers as well and Wes has given up a lot defensively to have this attacking options going forward so from here Weza was just going to be struggling against this move all day this little one two pass in and move and Vardy is going to get his first of many goals today and this is where it kind of switched around a little bit so again you can just see here that you know Weza's got a three on two defensive um, mismatch here Vardy gets it back in around there's no one to cover Vardy is not going to miss from there two one to Pirate and this was a sign of things to come. Now, Weza kept plugging along. Again, he gets a brilliant chance here with Boateng. Johnny Evans comes across. He probably should have pulled the trigger there, Weza. I think he'd want that one back to have another pop at that to test Kasper Schmeichel. But straight away up from here, you can just see that Perez gets it to Gray out in the wing again. And Vardy's going to be the orchestrator here this time. Little touch and go. Gets a, gets a nice little ball back in here for me and Acho, And he slots it home. And again, just like that, in the space of 10 seconds, these is what, this is what these top players can do. You know, they can just punish the rarest of mistakes or the rarest of missed opportunity and again from here within the first half game was nearly over Vardy slots at home for his hat trick so it was pretty much game over from there Weza was going to have to go all out here which is always a recipe for for danger especially against a top player like Pirate these two boys know each other's game very well they know what they're capable of so they were never going to let up or get you know too complacent and again Vardy was getting so much area in the, in the box you can just see here that Tealsman is just like pretty much being able to pick any pass he wants again that little one two excellent off the ball movement from gray squares it back into vardy and it's in the back of the net again so vardy gets his fourth of the day and he might not be finished just yet because we're going to see just in the dying minutes of this game the nail really being closed in on weza in and putting it to bed again it's just a nice little one two again it's an overpowered feature of the game but you have to be able to utilize it and you have to be able to finish those shots when you get a chance as well and pirate is one of the best in the business at attacking and at scoring goals like that at a high clip he's been lighting it up in this competition i think he's a top scorer in the whole competition so this is the possession this is the stats of it you've got 57 percent possession for pirate he really controlled that game passes was nearly double interceptions was six or seven more as well um so pirate is looking strong 
hard luck to Wes as well. I mean, Wes is a top player. These both, both these boys are. But he just got a, a couple of unlucky breaks at the wrong time, really. But take nothing away from Pirate. It's a fantastic clinical performance from him. And he marches on to the final where he will play the winner of the second semi-final, which we will have the highlights package for up soon. So good games all around from the boys. Thanks to everyone who joined. Pirate goes marching on. And we will talk to you at the next semi-final. Peace.